Well, I'm on the facts of Mars, and as usual, the kooks are, uh, being kooks. App creator apologized for racist filter that lightens user skin tone. Makers of face app are backtracking after users accused popular face morphing app of racism. <laughs> According to the company, the app will transform your face into using artificial intelligence and in just one tap. Self selfie takers can make their face photos look old, force a smile onto their otherwise grumpy mug, or beautify themselves. Troublingly, the last option, labeled as hot, appears to lighten users' skin tone. Uh, Terrence A.B. Johnson isn't just bad, it's also racist. That's hogwash. Filter equals bleach my skin, make my nose your opinion of European. No well, thanks. Doherty. Since I did my face review, I also did the face app thing. Tell me what you think. Also hot. Me is just me with lighter skin, so racist. Ah, oh, cripes. Uh, excuse me, people. I got all sorts of different effects I could do on the computer if I wanted to. And they were never intended as racism. I I can uh, certainly lighten people's faces and pictures if I wanted to. You do all sorts of weird stuff. Matchable reached out for Facebook founder and CEO YG after about the criticism, and he is quick to apologize. That's what you shouldn't do is apologize. We are deeply sorry for unquestionably serious issues. Wrote G. Uh, excuse me. What issue? There's no issue here. There's an unfortunate side effect of the underlying neural network caused by the training of set by its not intended behavior. That's gobbledygook. To mitigate the issue, we renamed the effect to exclude any positive connotation associated with it. Indeed, if you download the app today, the hot option is now labeled Spark, at least for iOS. G further told Mashable that his team is working on the complete fix that should arrive soon. This is the first time that an app has been. This is not the first time an app has been accused of racism for altering users' appearances. Snapchat has been called out for a Bob Marley filter. I only know vaguely who he is or was or whatever. To put people in blackface and what critics call the yellow face filter. All right, my oh, brother. This is such hogwash. Like I said, you can go out and get computer programs and do this stuff. They're not racist, and neither is this. See, as I'm looking at this, what it appears to do is it lightens up the lighting. Um, you know, oh, brother, these liberals are losing it.
Well, it just basically lightens things up a little. If it does it to the face, it'll do it to everything else, most likely. A little bit of extra lighting. That's what it's putting on your uh, face. It's not really lightening the skin, in my opinion. But it doesn't matter. You don't like it, throw it off your phone. This is the point. This is the only point. You don't like it, throw it off your phone. How hard is that? Now, I don't use much on my phone. I'll admit to doing email on it occasionally. But other than that, I don't do much. I use it for a phone, I use it for an alarm clock, that's probably its biggest function, and for an MP3 player, because I uh, download traditional country music from uh, YouTube. Other than that, I don't use it for much. This is just utterly absurd. Throw it off your phone if you don't like it. You quit weighing. I'm on the facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.